Vic Draculich, our referee, waiting to give final instructions to the two right fighters. This is for the USBA heavyweight title. You've received your instructions in the dressing room. At this time, are there any questions? Any questions from Chief Seconds? Well, if it hits here, I'm not going to call. Fine. Okay. Great. Right okay. Right. Any questions? All right. Remember, obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Final instructions have been given, and certainly the stare down has been completed. Tua and Bell are ready to go. It is a championship fight. We are scheduled for 12. We are about to get underway with round one. The judges of this fight are Carol Castellano, Keith McDonald, and Dave Moretti. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Both fighters, as you can see, wearing mostly black. Tua with the red trim and just a bit of white trim on Gary Bell's trunks and the action early on. Tua with the big punches early and already a cut over Gary Bell's eye and Tua pounding him against the ropes early on. Bell with very little defense early in round one. Bell severely cut at this point, it would appear, and already a stoppage. Vic Draculich stopping the fight here early in round one, summoning the ringside doctor. He is seriously cut over the left eye. That would appear to be a gaping gash and in a very, very bad place because that blood will run into his eye. Let's see if we can see if it's a butt. Boom, right there. Easily a headbutt to a with the headbutt on Gary Bell. They will continue. This is a nasty, nasty looking wound over Gary Bell's left eye. To his corner, urging him to get on top. To work against that cut. Working to the body to a now. Gary Bell cannot survive that nasty headbutt. This could be a very short fight indeed. Oh, to a very solid against, very, very solid against the head of Gary Bell. Bell would appear to be wobbly and defenseless against the ropes as Tua pounds him into submission, and this fight is over in less than one round. David Tua, he retains the USBA Heavyweight Championship David Tua from New Zealand in very impressive fashion in less than three minutes of boxing ends the aspirations of Gary Bell. The Bell still wobbly in his corner looking for a stool to sit down on. Tua with the congratulatory hug, but the nasty cut early. And then the follow-up, Flurry, David, the Terminator, Tua on the ring ropes to the cheers of the full house here at Caesars, said Lake Tahoe. Tua running his record now to 34 and one with 29 knockouts. The end of the fight, we have it for you on replay and you will see Tua just throwing a variety of punches, the very solid combinations. And Tua ending the fight in less than one round. Very, very, very impressive. And again, there is a close up look at an ugly cut raised early by a headbutt over Gary Bell's eye. And Tua moving in for the kill with the big right hand, a left, another left, and a right. Those punches all landing. Bell offering absolutely no resistance, backed into his own corner as Tua pounded away until referee Vic Draculich stepped in and said, that is it, Gary Bell cannot continue defenseless against the very solid attack of David Tua in less than a round and we will get the official time on the fight here momentarily from Michael Buffer but certainly David Tua making a name for himself here tonight at Caesars Tahoe in Lake Tahoe Nevada again another look at the solid flurry the uncontested flurry if you will as Gary Bell offered absolutely nothing in return as Tua pounded away at will for seemingly 10 to 12 seconds before the referee stepped in to stop the fight the fighters still circling in the middle of the ring as we continue to look at David Tua's onslaught. We mentioned at the time that it is Gary Bell who has a reputation for coming on strong at the start of a fight, but this time it was definitely 
the Terminator. Again, David Tu has only lost to this point in his professional career, as you see him there with his man, Lou Duva. Only the one loss, the 12-round decision to Ike Iabuchi, who some people thought David Tua actually won. Here again, Michael Nine Buffer seconds, with the official the word. Official time into round number one. Referee Vic Draculich calls a halt to the bout. The winner by knockout victory, his record now 34 victories, 29 KOs, and he is still the USBA heavyweight champion, the Terminator, David. David Tua making the home folks in Auckland, New Zealand, no doubt, very proud here tonight. Invincible in this fight. Boy, oh boy, David Tua certainly impressive, and I wonder if he's thinking back to his days as a child. The story goes, and of course these things grow as they are told and told, but supposedly Tua showed promise early as a boxer, and his father used to actually recruit men for David Tua as a young man to fight with Larry Merchant now and David Tua. Um, first of all, I say that Tua will continue that longer. And uh, what did you just say? Well, I said, you know, thank God, everything worked out great, and I dedicate this uh, this uh, this fight here to uh, uh, soul brother Mark Tuine. You rest in peace, brother. Uh, all, right. all right, this started, David, with a cut that was caused by a butt. Uh, did you feel that? I mean, were you both coming forward? And you take a look at it here and describe to us what you see. Well, I knew he was, he was coming he was coming in. I, I actually didn't think he was going to come in, you know, to fight. You know, I actually thought he was going to come out with the style of, of a rock man, you know, throwing the jab and moving around. But, you know, I was surprised. And therefore, you know, I, I'm, I'm a guy that stays low, that used my weight, used my legs. And, uh, you know, those things happen. But um, I'm happy that everything worked out great. All right, tell us, David, in the past you've had some uh, early knockouts, sometimes against some pretty good fighters, but on other occasions you've started rather slow and given your opponents a chance to, f to find a rhythm and to feel that they can outwit you. D do you want to change that now? Yeah. I told you yesterday, you know, at the HBO meeting that, uh, you know, I, I guarantee you this is going to be a different David Tua, and I came out and I proved it. I'm number one in the world, and I'll fight anybody. anybody. Fight anybody. Holyfield, Lewis, anybody. All right, David, let me raise the subject of your weight. Obviously, you weren't feeling that this man was a serious threat as Rachman because when you fought Rachman, you weighed 13 pounds less. Is that a dangerous game to get into? No, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm 26 now, and I feel that at this late stage of my, of my life and my career that my body's matured. You know, I put on more muscle and less fat, and I feel that I'm, I'm, I'm still got my, my quickness, I'm still got my power, and, and that's, that's all that matters. All right. It, it, it may be all that matters in the ring, but, but we have the memory of an outstanding fighter, Riddick Bowe, who weakened himself by going up and down in weight severely. Uh, I've heard you went up as high as 275, 280 after the Rahman fight. Uh, it, it, can this be a problem down the road for you? To be totally honest, I can't speak for the other fighters. You know, David Tua is David Tua, and uh, whatever makes David Tua feel feel better and, and feel comfortable, you know, I got to do what I got to do. How often do you want to fight to make sure you retain your mandatory challenge ranking? Well, Ronnie and, and Lou and everybody, hey, let's <laughs> let's get somebody, let's get anybody. Do you want to fight somebody better than your opponent tonight? Or are you freezing the ball, as we say in America, and, and just holding on to your ranking? Bring it on. Bring it on. You know, uh, my job, like I've always said, my job is to fight, be the best I can be, and, and, and do better in every fight. And talk to Lou, talk to Ronnie, talk to Kevin, and, you know, th those are the guys that make the matches. I got to go out there and perform, and, uh, hey, he's just had operation on his knee, and uh, I got to help you out, Lou. Sorry. <laughs> And, and Roy Jones says he, he wants to step into the heavyweights. Roy Jones wants to fight. He's ready to fight for Roy Jones. I don't, I don't know if he'll be that eager after watching this. <laughs> Jim? <laughs> I don't know if he was that eager before watching this. All right. Well, you heard the man, David Tua, very, very confident tonight. And why not? The early and impressive knockout of Gary Bell as Tua runs his record now to 34 wins against one loss and 29 knockouts as he retains his USBA heavyweight championship and calls. Calling for anyone and everyone, Tua says, 
he is ready. Of course, David Tua's victory keyed perhaps early in this fight by the accidental headbutt. Both fighters coming forward, boom, right there. You saw the headbutt, Gary Bell, just above the eye, suffering the nasty.